Okay, good morning everyone. It is Thursday, October 8th, and it's about 5.20 a.m. Get ready to go in the room here and wake up my baby, start our day, so I can prepare him, feed him, and get him ready for daycare. And then I'll be off to work. I just want to pop in and say, hey, hello, because again, I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to record once I get to work. So yeah, I will do my best to talk to you guys throughout the day. Talk to you later. Okay, hey y'all, I am getting ready to get on this freeway. It looks like it's gonna take me at least 10 minutes just to get on the freeway. So since I have the time, I want to pop in and talk to you guys a little bit. I think um, in my last video, I was talking about how traffic was very unusual. Traffic is always bad here, but it was very, very unusual. It's rare when it's just stopped and no one's going anywhere. So I really wanted to find out why traffic was like that once I got home. And um, I did find out. Someone attempted to commit suicide off the overpass. And so they had to stop the freeway, you know, to take care of what's going on, basically. It's funny. It's getting ready to get dark, y'all. So hopefully you can still hear me because I'm going under an overpass. It's funny how um, in our haste, we're frustrated and discombobulated because traffic is so bad and we hadn't gotten to our destination when we wanted to, not realizing what could possibly be happening. So, you know, my heart was heavy because of that. You know, I, um, I said a prayer hoping that the person was okay because we never uh, found out the status. We don't know if he actually did kill him or herself we don't know that the last bit of news was attempted suicide so we're not quite sure what came of that but yeah I felt totally bad because I was in a rush and couldn't figure out why traffic was so bad and to find out it was someone attempting to kill themselves by jumping over the overpass of the freeway life is hard and people are struggling and you never know what um, folks are going through um, yeah so we always have to pray for each other you know that one person at your job might be hitting on your nerve but you never know what's going on at home so I'll just say have compassion on that person because uh, again you never know what's happening I'm gonna go ahead and stop here because I don't want to start rambling, but I wanted to pop in and let you guys know why traffic was terrible the last time I recorded. I believe it was on Monday. And traffic is never that bad on Mondays. Because, ooh, <laughs> it's a B, but my windows are rolled up, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm, let me show you guys this B here. Can y'all see that? I thought it was getting ready to uh, fly into my car, but my windows were rolled up. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys later. Okay, what's going on you guys? Just left work. I've been driving for like maybe three minutes or so. Not that long. Yeah, again, another busy day. Very busy day. <laughs> It's like, you know, a never-ending rat race. <laughs> you gotta keep it going and keep it going or whatever. Yeah, so again, I'm, ho I'm always hoping that traffic is not bad so that I'm able to get to my son in good time because he seems a little bothered when I get to him later than I usually do. So <laughs> I just wanna make sure I get to him in good time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Um, yeah, I'm go ahead and pay attention to this road. Okay, what's going on you guys? We are now at home. I'm going to go ahead and mute that because YouTube been on this copyright thing. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and mute that. We are now at home. The little one is down relaxing. He's like, why you turn the sound off my TV, mama? <laughs> but yeah, we're home. I got to his child care in very good time within an hour, so that's good. Um, my husband left work a little late, so he should be home in about 45 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and get comfortable, but I'm going to show you the little one before I do. I'm going to say hi. Hi. <laughs> 
yeah so let me get comfortable and I will talk to you guys a little later Okay, what's going on everybody? It is time for me to end the video here. Um, I wasn't able to get the little one's um, playtime because he's not feeling well. He has a runny nose and this cough. He has no fever, so I'm happy about that. But he does have a runny nose and um, a cough. So I didn't record him today. He was not feeling it, so I just didn't record him. No biggie. And um, yeah, my husband is asleep because he works tonight as well. And um, yeah, I'm about to, I'm gonna go ahead and end this and then go in the kitchen, wash some bottles, <laughs> and prepare his stuff for daycare if I feel he's okay for daycare tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it. It's not so much a current event, it's more of a study. And uh, let's see, it says next time you're feeling stressed or anxious, this study shows you should play Tetris. Now, I'm not quite sure if many people remember Tetris. Tetris is a game that started on Nintendo. So a lot of you younger people may not know what Tetris is, but it's so fun. But apparently the game also relaxes you. So let me read some of this. I'm not going to read all of it. It says, if you're ever feeling anxious or waiting on bad news, this new study suggests that there is a very simple and fun way to ease your worry mind. Research from the University of California shows that playing Tetris has a, remark a remarkable effect on, on a person's mental health and performance. Psychologist Kate Sweeney led the research by studying the game's effects on welfare of the university students' population. During times of immense stress, such as undergoing final exams and considering future careers, Sweeney instructed the students to play the arcade game before measuring their relative levels of perceived anxiety. Her research shows that by playing Tetris, overworked individuals often experience a significant reduction in stress and anxiety and an influx in positive emotions. Now, uh, this is great. I'm assuming it's, um, I think a lot of the video games do this, but I know with Tetris, I remember when I used to play Tetris, um, you can sit there and you can play it forever, but to manipulate the sticks and things like that does relax you, so this is a good study. And I know there's a lot of you out there who don't remember Tetris, unless you're a gamer, then I'm sure you know what the game is. It's a fun game. It started way back in the 90s. Yeah, I want to say the 90s. So, yeah. So, you guys let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you on my next video. God bless.